Hello and welcome to another Doctor's Assistant One video. Um, today I'm doing a video on my top three um, favorite characters in Marvel. Or well, my yeah, characters, the top three characters in Marvel that I like the most. Yeah, in <laughs> and that's why I've got this notepad, big book thing. Anyway, with me because I've got the list. Uh, um, yeah, these are main characters. Um, I just put in my top three Marvel characters so that, um, you know, if there were potential villains on here, I could have had them if I wanted to, but none of the villains massively stuck out to me, so they are mainly the three heroes. Um, and I've also done a list, compiled a list for DC, which will probably be the next video, ideally in chronological order, uh, but it might be spaced out between uh, this and a comic book review of a Doctor who -y thing or something else. Also, seeing as I'm wearing a Rick and Morty t-shirt, I might as well mention that I might do a video on the Season 3 uh, trailer, a uh, reaction -y, my thoughts on that trailer-y type thing, but yeah. Um, so yeah, but in a, in a number 3 Spider-Man, well, because it's Spider-Man really, he's sort of the first Marvel character that I got introduced to as a kid. Um, very basic character. Um, you know, op superhero, you know, just being able to web sling about the place, and there's something about that that's very appealing to me. <laughs> and I think, obviously, as Peter Parker, I can very much relate to the character. Um, but also, you know, um, there's that saying of, you know, you, you know, you only, um, or you're only as good as your enemies type thing, and he has like a bevy of villainous, is probably villainous people, he's probably one of the most, more fleshed out heroes in terms of the villains he has to fight, you know, um, and I'm very much looking forward to the new Spider-Man Homecoming. I've seen, unfortunately, all of the Spider-Man movies that are out, or that I know of anyway, uh, with the three uh, Sam Raimi ones and then the uh, Andrew Garfield ones, the two Amazing Spider-Man ones, yeah. Yeah, they, I mean, to be fair in that respect, the Homecoming can't be as worse as Spider-Man 3 or Spider-Man 2, or Amazing Spider-Man 2, should I say, even. Um, but yeah, and there's lots of just different iterations of Spider-Man and different versions, which can be daunting, I guess, looking from the outside in on that, but there's just so many different versions of him that you could fall in love with and or be like and or be interested in. Um, in our number two, I'd probably say Iron Man. Now, I think he, on the surface, is a very generically boring character, you could argue, but I think he does have layers and or depth um, in terms of the comic books, of course. Um, I think, you know, but there's that almost, like, yeah, two-sidedness to him with, like, Spider-Man, there's the Peter Parker, and then there's Spider-Man. With Tony Stark, there's Tony Stark, and then there's Iron Man. You know, Iron Man for me is the obvious character when he's in the suits and the Iron Man suits and that. And there's always all these cool different variants and different versions depending on the context of the situation, which is pretty cool. But also, as I say, like beyond that, his character in his own right, even if he is just a bit of a dickhead and a bit of a um, playboy thrill lamp, a thrill lamp they pissed and that they're even multi-millionaire sort of um, arrogant dickhead but yeah but at the core I think he he is nice he's he's got a softer side to him but he wouldn't ever show it sort of thing and um, and again yeah I think I think he's yeah Robbie Downey Jr as Iron Man that's the best casting there <laughs> you know I I genuinely I think after Spider-Man I think yeah Iron Man again was one of the earliest films in terms of the Marvel films that I'd seen, but also sort of one of the earlier um, comic book characters that I'd started to get to, like, like, it started a journey with via the comics. Um, and in that number one, obviously, it's Deadpool. It's Deadpool, really. It's, you know, the movie. I fucking love the movie. If you haven't seen my review of that on the channel, then yeah, uh, go check that out. But Deadpool, fucking amazing. Um, you know, um, he's just, he's met every Marvel character in terms of the comic books, in his comic books of sorts, and, um, you know, there's just so much you can do with him, he's humorous, he's, he's dark, he's twisted, he's sick, he's, he's basically like, you know, 
a, a myriad of different emotions all chucked into one manic person. He's got split personality disorder. He, you know, he's got two different... Oh, he's got X amount of different voices. He's got a relationship with death because he can never die. Um, you know, he's got this backstory of being a person, obviously, before he became Deadpool, but now is like this. He's, he's almost gone too far. He's almost down this path of just dumb fuckery that he can just never come back from and that and that's very interesting to see both how you get to that point but also enjoying where or as a reader you can enjoy the madness that is where he is at currently and that um so i think there's a big sort of longevity there and a big interestingly uh weird sort of journey of how how the fuck do you get down to that path you know like, there's a graphic novel that I've got where he's, like, killed every character in the Marvel Universe, but then there's another one where he, you know, kills himself or attacks another version of himself, should I say, yeah, where it's, like, Deadpool versus Deadpool, which I still haven't got round to reading, which is a crime in and amongst itself. But, um, yeah, it's, it's just, you know, an amazingly interesting funny character that was basically made for the internet let's be honest and internet culture and meme culture really uh but yeah um yeah those have been my three top three uh marvel characters uh please do comment below what you uh what yours are and what not uh but yeah ah, trying to close the book now bookity book 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 uh but yeah Thanks for watching, comment, rate and subscribe.